Why is WeWork 2.0 trying to go public? In the wake of WeWork's embarrassing IPO route, you might imagine that startups working in similar markets would cool it for a bit. Perhaps they could work on cutting spending, improving their gross margins, and, say, shooting for profitability. Not so, at least in one case. Instead of doing those things, China-based Ucommune filed to go public in America this month. The WeWork competitor is mostly a co-working business. It's also a marketing company. And it has some of the worst economics we've seen in a company since we work. Why this company is trying to go public isn't hard to understand. It needs the cash. But at the same time, the chance of it debuting at a price it likes seems slim, given the market's recent history, as well as you commune's own. Introductions Before we chat about the business fundamentals of you commune, a primer on the company itself. Founded in 2015, according to Crunchbase data, Ucommune has raised over hundreds of millions. In 2018 alone the company raised a venture round and its Series C and its Series D prior investors include Go for Asset Management, A Kang Group, Tian Hong Asset Management, All Stars Investment and Longshi Real Estate. TechCrunch reported that its final private round valued Ucommune at $3 billion. All that capital was put to work. According to his F1 filing, U Commune operates 197 co working facilities in 42 cities. The company also claims more than 600,000 members and nearly 73,000 workstations. The WeWork similarities continue. While discussing itself in its IPO filing, the firm touts an asset like model, which it claims helps property owners benefit from our professional capabilities and strong brand recognition as well as allowing its business to scale at a cost efficient manner. Let's see. How to lose money. As a primer for all you non-accountants, here's how you make money as a company. First, generate some revenue. Next, deduct the direct costs that that revenue engendered. What's left is called gross profit, and the relative total of gross profit generated from revenue is called gross margin. From there, subtract your operating costs. If there's anything left over, that's operating profit. Now take your operating profit and remove taxes and other costs. What remains is net income. As you can quickly see, the more gross profit a business generates from its revenue, the more money it has left over to pay for operating expenses. So, revenues that generate lots of gross profit, called high margin revenue, are better than those that don't. You commune, our IPO hopeful, is unique in that its revenue doesn't generate any gross profit at all. Its revenue doesn't even pay for itself. The company is gross margin negative. Here's what that looks like. If your cost of revenue is higher than your revenue, your gross profit is negative. For more on this story, visit the news article link.